Philip. I'm a synth programmer, producer, and songwriter, and I'm here to talk to you about patch blocks. We're going to take a closer look at the patch blocks software. Patchblock software is a free editor you can download from patchblocks.com. I'm going to open it up, and right at the get go, we get the option to load an existing preset or create our own patch. Let's look at the presets included. You can check a few presets here and have a listen to them. You can emulate them, what the buttons do. There's a little tooltip that says what every button does. And I can just upload it to a block if I feel like that. Now, we're going to switch to the editor and look what we can do by ourselves. The patch blocks editor, as you can see here, it has an empty stage where we can patch together our sound using these tiny blocks. They are the basic building blocks of what makes a sound. We have an audio output. We have a generated, for example, let's take a sine wave, and I just hook up the output of the sine to the left audio output. Let's preview that. That's the basic building block. Let's take another one, a saw, put it on the right. Now, things can be as easy as just a few blocks. They can be as complicated as a complex sound. Let's preview. or an entire song that's consistent of multiple sounds, sequencers, effects, and everything together. So let's create a basic patch. We start out with a saw oscillator that's hooked up to the output. It's not very exciting, but so let's add some interactivity. The controls block represents the knobs and the buttons. So we could, for example, multiply the sound from the saw with the value from knob 1. Let's add an effect, a filter for example. And let's hook up the second knob to the value of the filter. Now the knob goes from 1 to 0 and the filter frequency should go much higher. So we're going to multiply that 1 to 0 by 3000 to get a filter that goes from 0 to 3000 Hz. That's the way a basic patch could be built. But things can get a lot more complex. This is a 303 emulator I built. If I like this patch, putting it on a patch block is as easy as just plugging it into the USB, switching it on. The patch block appears on the desktop as an external drive, and I just say compile and upload to the patch block. It's already done. <laughs> I've got this patch block here, I'm going to listen what it does right now. Well, it doesn't seem to do anything, so maybe there's something wrong with it, but I can also just plug it into the USB and download the software that's on the patch block back into the computer. So I'm going to do that now, with the red button say 
open firmware. Well, it seems to be a pretty complicated patch, so why I'm not hearing anything? Ah, it turns out that it's actually going to the digital outputs instead of the analog outputs. So that's why I'm not hearing anything with my analog output. I'm just going to reconnect this and save it back to the patch block. There, it works now. As you can see, sometimes patches can become pretty complex. So if you ever have questions or problems, you can head over to patchblocks.com. There's a whole community section there where people upload their own patches or help out if somebody has trouble. There's also a lot of custom blocks that are coded by advanced users and that give you more options to include in your own patches. Or you can look for Benelux dealers at more-benelux.nl.